Hello everybody, I am Just Lance and I'd like to welcome all of you back for another video. Anyways, um, in this video I'm going to use a couple of things I haven't used on camera. And I'm going to kind of change up the format a little bit. Hopefully you went ahead and you already noticed the change. Um, in order to save time, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do this a little bit different. And it'll be pretty pretty obvious as I go. Anyways, so let's take a look at what we're going to use. First off, the soap. This is just a sample size. This is from K Shave Works. It's the Not Your Mother's Lavender or NYML. It's a beautiful, beautiful, slightly, well, somewhat uh, spicy lavender. Uh, K Shave Works, they're just incredible soaps. They make an incredible soap out there at K-Shave Works. Um, you can find them over on Etsy or just go to K-Shave Works, W-O-R-X, dot com. K-Shave Works, uh, dot com. Anyways, um, in case you're not familiar, if you are a fan of Aaron Fugeridis or uh, Frugal Shave, I hope I got your last name correct, Aaron. Anyways, um, if you're a fan of Frugal Shave, and you might have seen him talk about it, um, Hazelette Apothecary. It was their soap. They were the ones that originally brought it out. They went ahead and they allowed K Shave Works to uh, take take over the recipe. Basically, they gave it to them, sold it to them. I don't know what they did. But K Shave Works took the recipe, did a couple of little tweaks from what I understand. And Aaron was right when he said, um, if you're not a fan of lavender, Give Not Your Mother's Lavender a try. It might make you a fan. I agree with that. Um, I was a fan of Lavender already, but I just love that scent. The brush is going to be my Razor Rock 24mm Plus Soft Synthetic in the Barber Handle brush. Nice acrylic handle. And the Razor is one I've had for a while. For, it was one of my first single edges, but I've never used it on camera. And it is this one, this is the 1924 Ever Ready Hood Style Shovel Head. Um, it's 1924. Anyways, this one loads different. My 1912 has a little thing on the back here. You push down and the front part flips up and you put your blade in. And the way this one, and you would like slide your blade back, drop the, drop the corners underneath the little corner tabs. The way this one works is you have this little, little thing back here and you push it up and it flips forward and then you have a little guide here on each side and then you got your corner hooks and just drop it down behind these little guides into the corners flip it up and you're good to go um, and I'm, it's riding on my 1912 shovel head flip top shovel head handle the handle that originally came with this was about three quarters the length of this. This handle is more comfortable for me to use. So let's go ahead and let's get on with the shave. Go ahead and let's wet the brush. Anyways, so how are all of you doing? Um, hope you're all doing well. I've smashed a good chunk part of the sample into the bottom of my old Castle Forge container. Um, Carl Kiefer, if you're a fan of Kiefer and you're wondering where he's kind of disappeared to on Facebook or, you know, um, with videos, uh, he said he wants to get more into reality. Um, and get his, you know, kind of get away from the phone and all that, and kind of get away from online. And I can understand that. I don't do a lot online myself, other than this and Facebook. I don't do Google Play or Snapchat, Instagram, um, all that stuff. Because one, I'm blind. It takes longer to do stuff, so. I don't want to spend that extra time. And two, well, I have other things that interest me. Um, 
quite frankly, I have other responsibilities. I, I'm not a bachelor, so I've got a girlfriend in it and a son, so I may be on Facebook 20 minutes a day. Just in spurts, basically. Anyways, that's a good load right there. Oh, the blade is a PTFE Gem Stainless Coated Blade from Walgreens. Um, I don't know how many shades is on it. We'll see how it goes. I got a pack, a brand new package in Blue Stars. So if I need a backup blade, so to speak, rescue blade. Yeah, the scent of this K-Shave Works is just really, really nice um, as you lather it up. Um, the scent seems to really come out, which I'll have one moment, folks. Anyways, um... My son needs to use the bathroom, so I'm editing that. I edited that part out. Anyhow, there we go. So let's go ahead and get some heat into this blade. The thing I like about these old Ever Ready handles is they're like one, two, three, four, five, six. They're six sided, so they're a hexagon. And just. And that feels really good. Anyways, so yeah. Um, what I figure I'm going to do a little different is I'm going to sit here and I'm just going to go ahead and do a little here and. I'll go ahead and cut away here and finish up this pass and I'll come back for pass two um, after I have give a few thoughts. Um, the soap is really slick, it's doing really well. The razor is just gliding along nice and smooth. Anyways, I'll see you all in pass two. Alright guys, pass one down. It went very nice, very smooth. Um, if you've never used um, an Ever Ready or a gym where it uses that like box cutter looking blade um, and you'd go out and get one. Do not, whatever you do, don't go down to Home Depot and grab yourself a pack of box cutter blades and slap in there and think this will work because trust me it won't, it will hurt. If you're somewhere with a Walgreens or a CBS, go there, get the single edge blades. No one sec. They come in a pack that looks like that for like five bucks. Um, and make sure that wherever you get them always make sure it says made for shaving because if not well if they accidentally put a pack of box cutter blades up there if they carry such a beast and you accidentally grab a pack uh, you won't be happy with the results this case shave work makes a really really thick lather 
Um, my girlfriend, she's not a big fan of lavender, but she says that this, um, she kind of likes this scent. Um, when I mentioned once before I want a lavender scented aftershave, she was like, I don't like lavender. And, uh, cross the brain. But she said maybe this one should be willing to give it a try. Um, so, we'll see. She could smell it out in the hallway, so it's got a good, good strong scent. Anyways, um, but yeah, it's just cruising along, and these are stiffer blades. There's really no chatter and blade flex, any of that stuff with these. So it's totally it's kind of a different experience. It's closer to a straight edge from everything. Um, Kevy Shades once said that he's heard these old Everettis referred to as straight razors on a stick. Now, I've never used a straight razor, so I don't know. But, you know, maybe they are. As you can see, it's going through a knife. Thinking about getting hold of Rob George and having him do a RC White carriage as far as handles for these. I know he makes some, but anyways, so that's past two. Um, past the grain. We'll come back. Um, in past three. See you in a minute. Yeah, if any of my subscribers or, you know, anybody, um, it's June. Honey, what's the date today? It's June 10th, 2018. So if anybody sees this video, other than my, well, and my normal subscribers, because you not one of my normal subscribers and you're not familiar with my videos. But, you know, some of my normal, regular subscribers, you know, Dennis, Abe, Johnny. Big Rich. All you guys. Um, Carl. Let me know if you like this format better, the way I'm doing it. And if you all do, because my videos are normally, they can, some of them, in the 40-something minute range. Um, and I understand a lot of people, they don't want to spend, you know, half an hour or more watching a video sometimes. So, we'll go ahead and we'll see how this goes and if y'all like this format of videos a little bit better kind of similar to the Steve the Daily Shaver type thing if y'all like this a little better then I'll start doing them this way so we're in pass three we're going against the grain um, and I mean it's just it's nice and smooth One moment, but um, through soap, it's got plenty of slickness, glide, residual slickness, all that good stuff. Um, this ever ready, nice and nice and having a nice time going through it. Ended up getting this one up north for 16 bucks, so years back or a couple of years back in 2015 so as you can see it's just going right through so
So anyways, I'll go ahead and finish up around my mouth here, and then I'll go ahead and hit any little spots I might have missed, and then I'll be back for the post. See you all in a few. Hey guys, anyhow, um, we're back here for the post. Anyways, the 1924 Ever Ready Shovelhead um, face feels really good, um, nice and smooth. Uh, however, my head, this part, the front part, really great, but as I was doing the back, the blade started feeling a little uh, plucky. So I went ahead and I swapped out blade, the uh, Jim PPFE stainless steel coated blade for the um, Jim Blue Star. Uh, and I, I remembered one thing. Um, I've never been able to get a as good a head shave with that one as my uh, 1912 shovel head um, and the end results was that I got myself there I got a couple of spots where it didn't quite get it baby butt smooth um, but those are the those areas are areas that aren't baby butt smooth because you know, I didn't want to overshave them because I already kind of overshaved them a little bit with the shovel head. So I ended up swapping, over, switching over to my Gillette 1951 regular tip super speed um, with a Gillette Wilkinson Sword Gillette saloon blade in it. Uh, the blade second use, and it went through what was left real quick, real easy made for nice cleanup. So anyways, um, let's go ahead and do the post Dickinson's Witch Hazel. As far as the case shave works, not your mother's lavender. Absolutely beautiful soap. Um, it's everything you want in a soap. Slickness, cushion, glide, everything. But even the best soaps can't always help. Got some stinging around the backside. Um, but, you know, even the best soaps don't always save your skin um, when a razor just doesn't perform the best in that part of your, on that part of your body. So, pretty much, I think... I'm going to leave the 1924 shovel head strictly as a face shaver, which will really work out. I'm thinking about checking out the head blade, see how I like it. Um, I tend to go ahead and get nicks from, you know, pretty decent nicks from time to time on my head because, you know, it'll end up. The razor will twist in my hand, and the side of the blade will kind of get me, or I, you know, finger slip, lose my angle, no matter how much I try and hold on to the razor. So, yeah, I'm thinking about either going back to disposables just for my head, or, you know, um, going with the head blade. So. Nivea for sensitive skin, coin, bomb. Anyways, so yeah, let me know how you guys like this video in the comments. Um, if you guys like this new format, I'll start doing it. If you guys like the, you know, the time-saving part of this type, the me doing my video this way. And if you don't want to see me go ahead and do that, if you're happy with my long videos, then let me know. So put this back up here. And then finally, oops, I rinse my hands. Probably a glutton for punishment, 
but I'm going to go ahead and put cologne on my head anyways instead of aftershave and tonight it's a little bottle of Adidas EDT that I got for in a little little pack little like travel said I got from my son for Christmas I don't like to spray the cologne directly on my face for the simple fact is that If it's too high, I don't want to hit myself in the eyes. Yeah, that's good. Now in here. There. But anyways, so that's the shave. Hope you all enjoyed it. Um, Likes, comments, subscriptions, always appreciate it. Any time, any questions, you can contact me at justlance59 at gmail.com. All our case, no spaces. Anyways, I hope you all have a good evening, good day, whichever, whatever time of the day or night you watch this. Um, and y'all take it easy, have some good shaves, and I will see all of you on the flip side of the blade. Bye bye now.